We're very fortunate to have Matt in our school. He comes every day, um, works hard, asks questions when he needs to, uh, but also is, is kind of key to helping uh, other teammates uh, in the school. He's been in the league a few years now, so he understands um, he understands when to ask for help and also understands and not scared to ask for help when others may be. Um, comes every day, uh, works hard on the ice, works hard off the ice, um, which I think has led him to the success he's had in the classroom and the hard work he has on the ice. My mom's a teacher and she's always taught me uh, to have two plans, have a backup plan, a plan B in case hockey never works out. And uh, that's something that's always been important to me. She's uh, taught me that I should work just as hard in the classroom, if not harder uh, than on the ice. And that's something um, I've always lived up to. He takes every day as a challenge, uh, and he takes every day on as a fresh new day, uh, which is a fortunate look to have at his age. Uh, he looks forward to the future while also living in the present. So he's able to balance both of those uh, quite well. Uh, and he also knows what he, he would like to do in the future, uh, which helps us kind of tailor his course load to what he uh, what he likes and what, find, what he finds challenging. We're very fortunate here to have all the resources available, whether it's a uh, school coordinator, teachers that are aware of our situation, and uh, time on the bus when we're traveling with good setups to uh, have access to our classwork and all that, and be able to do our homework on the road, and when we're away for a long period of time. So um, I'm very fortunate to be able to have the resources around me to help me uh, push through my uh, academic. Uh, he's, he takes a lot of science-based courses in math uh, and achieves grades that are, are relevant to his work. Uh, he puts a lot of time into those, uh, just not only in class, but also at home and on the road.